We're going to talk about proteins today. And again, if you look at that diagram, you can tell me what a protein is made up of. Who could tell me what a protein is made up of? Yes. And? Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and? Nitrogen. So chan. So we covered cho for carbs and lipids. And the difference was carbs are one to two to one. Lipids are not in that specific ratio. And now proteins actually have nitrogen in them as well. Think of protein, right? The word ends or has an N in it. So does the chemo chemical composition, if that helps at all. Now, what builds protein or what do we call our building blocks? Awesome. Amino acids. Now, these aminos or the amino group, and type in the word group there because I have the wrong thing uncovered, so I'm just going to fix it. Amino groups are attached to what? Look at the picture. Yes. Our, look at the picture. We know, the amino group consists of carbon and has carbon throughout the whole molecule, okay, of amino acids. But what is the amino group right here attached to? What other group? I just showed you. We got the R side chain, yes. And the what? Good, carboxyl group. So if you look at the image, you should be able to interpret that just from the image. Now, proteins form enzymes and hormones. And they're also, I'm going to talk about enzymes in a minute. But they're also responsible for these things of you or living organisms. What are they? Hair. Hair. Nails. Nails. What do we call those? No. What do we call muscles, hair, your nails, your skin glowing? So yes, their, their appearance or their physical characteristics, proteins are a direct result of that. Now in terms of enzymes, we're going to focus on hormones later on in the unit. But when you talk about enzymes, you have to know that enzymes are the way every reaction in your body happens rapidly. Without enzymes, everything would take place so slowly that you probably would not be functioning. They work like, they reference them like a lock and a key. And what that means is every enzyme is specific to a specific reaction. And if you look at this picture, and I'm going to zoom it in for you, you'll see this enzyme. And it's hard to see because it has no background, so I'm going to kind of move it over here for but here's the enzyme, and you see how it is a perfect fit into what they call a substrate, which is whatever compound this is or molecule that has to react or have some kind of reaction, the enzyme will click onto it and make it happen faster. Now, when I, when I was going to ask you what's the function of, en of a protein, what came to your mind automatically by any chance? What, are, what did you think proteins did? You thought of energy. So we're going to write here, do not provide energy, okay? Because that's what you automatically think. But when you take protein shakes or protein supplements, what do you take them for? To build muscle, okay? Within them, there might be something that gives you energy, but it's not the protein, okay? Protein's function is forming enzymes, forms hormones, and is responsible for your physical characteristics.